Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we are going to draw Excalibur, the sword in the rock. We begin by marking on the paper the size we want for the sword. Then we sketch its axis and the one of the handle, which form a cross. More or less like this. We verify that we have the same distance on both sides and we draw a circle on top. We do the handle and the rest of the sword. I'm sketching with pencil so as to be able to erase any mistakes. Good! Now we start coloring. First with a white pencil and using a square to go straight, we draw the edge on both sides. Here we can place a little symbol. As color pencils usually have an oil or wax base, if afterwards we go over them with a water-based marker, we still will be able to see perfectly what we did with the pencil. Here we do a decorated rectangle. For this I do the lights with a white pencil and the shadows with a dark blue, almost black. The source of light will be at the top left, so that side will be more illuminated. Excalibur is a sacred sword, symbol of power, force and pride. This sword of light will show its conquering power over darkness. It appears as the truth, which scares away ignorance and selfishness. And, brandished by our arm, we'll be able to extract the true wisdom that we hold within each of us. With a brown marker we give the base color to the handle, and with a very fine one, a black, I did some stripes on it. And with a beige pencil we pull some lights. Very good, I like it how it is looking. By the way, the list of materials is in the information below the video. With a middle tone brown marker, we do the dark reflections of the golden metal, and we complement it with a yellow. Over this, with a light yellow, almost white, we give the light reflections. Remember that the color pencils draw well over the markers, but the markers don't paint on the pencils. Therefore, the right sequence is, obviously, to first put a base with the markers and then draw on them with the pencils. We can do the stone with a couple of tones of grey. And here we should do the shadow of the sword so it looks more realistic. With a bar of white oil pastel, which is greasy, we are able to get even brighter, sparkling reflections. Good! We go over the stone again so it looks more solid. Excellent! We give it the last touches and it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends, and subscribe to find our tips. You know where to follow me, the links are below, and I will see you on Tuesday.